This is Tomo News for Monday, February 13th. UK teen wanted to kill Donald Trump using a police officer's handgun. An autistic British man living in the U.S. illegally reportedly traveled to Las Vegas last weekend with the intent to kill Donald Trump. Police say suspect Michael Sanford spoke with an officer at a Las Vegas Donald Trump rally on Saturday about getting an autograph, but then tried to take the officer's weapon. The 19-year-old was eventually subdued by officers and then handed over to the United States Secret Service. Sanford allegedly said he wanted to kill Republican presidential candidate Donald Trump. He reportedly wanted to shoot him using the officer's gun. The British team reportedly practiced firing 20 rounds of a Glock pistol at a shooting range before driving to Las Vegas and had been planning to kill Trump for a year. Authorities say Sanford has been living out of his car with an expired U.S. visa and that he suffers from a form of autism. U.S. judge found Sanford a danger to the community and a flight risk at a court hearing on Monday. The suspect remains in custody and further charges are pending. Redsboy.com busted for alleged prostitution. Authorities have made arrests in a sting against alleged prostitution site, Redboy.com, the world's largest male escort service website. In Manhattan, its CEO Jeffrey Harant and six employees in other states were arrested on Tuesday. Jeffrey Harant has operated the website since 1996. The site charges members a monthly fee of $59.99 and another $200 or more to advertise a profile. The website lets subscribers choose between an escort and a masseur, depending on the need. Redboy.com's disclaimer says the ads are for companionship, not sex. Brooklyn U.S. Attorney Kelly Curry said in a statement that Redboy.com attempted to present a veneer of legality when in fact it is an internet brothel. Her aunt and six other employees were arrested for violating the Travel Act, a federal law that criminalizes travel from state to state to promote or facilitate unlawful activity. Her aunt's lawyer denied the allegations and said that the website advertises people who want to meet people, not prostitution. From 2010 to 2015, Redboy.com was able to suck in more than $10 million in revenue. Ashley Madison, by comparison, made $150 million last year alone. The government said on Tuesday it is taking steps to shut down the website, which is currently inaccessible. Dairy Queen boss charged with manslaughter after teen employee kills himself. On December 21, 2016, Kenneth Sutner committed suicide via a shot to the head outside his home in Howard County, Missouri. He was 17. Sudner was bullied at school and by his boss, Harley Branham. They worked together at a Dairy Queen in Fayette. Branham was charged this week with involuntary manslaughter after an investigation held her responsible for his death. The 21-year-old reportedly made fun of Sudner and had him clean the floor by hand. The inquest also heard how Branham once threw a cheeseburger at Sudner because he'd messed up the order. She denies the allegations of bullying and faces up to four years in prison if convicted. The probe also found Dairy Queen and the local school district hadn't done enough to stop the bullying. Sunder's friend said he was bullied in virtually every area of the school. So is it really fair to put all the blame at Branham's feet, even if she is a horrible person? Say no. How scientists can harvest stem cells from your teeth. When a baby is born, some parents consider cryogenically storing blood from the umbilical cord to hold on to the rich stem cells of the baby. This is in case the child needs to use them for future medical treatments. But the cord isn't the only source of stem cells in the human body. Stem cells from tissue inside the tooth are mesenchymal stem cells. These are traditionally found in bone marrow. Also known as MSCs, these cells are multipotent and can differentiate into cells that repair muscles, bone and cartilage, the heart and blood vessels, among others. More research is needed before MSCs can be used in medical treatments. But in the future, they may potentially help treat autoimmune disorders, as well as the circulatory and skeletal systems. Some companies offer to store teeth cryogenically, especially baby teeth and wisdom teeth. This could allow people to use them later if the need for stem cell therapy arises. That being said, these services don't come cheap. But hey, maybe one day your baby tooth could save your life. Cleveland Browns to cut Johnny Manziel for off-field antics. The new NFL season starts on March 9th. Johnny Manziel will no longer be bench-warming for the Cleveland Browns. His fate is unknown, but the team that drafted him as the 22nd pick in the first round two years ago reportedly wants nothing to do with him. 
Mansell only played in 14 games over the two seasons. His poor on-field performance was overshadowed by paparazzi images of him partying. This image of Mansell allegedly shows him in the bathroom of a Las Vegas nightclub, tightly rolling up a $20 bill. When the Browns hired a new coach, NFL media insider Ian Rappaport said it was clear that Manziel's fate was sealed. After being drafted, Manziel made headlines for jet setting, drinking, and missing important team-related appointments before checking into rehab last year. The media has been all over the youngest Heisman Trophy winner for enjoying the benefits of being an NFL quarterback while seeming to respect none of the responsibility. Manziel's latest incident had police helicopters looking for him in Fort Worth, Texas, following an altercation with his girlfriend. He missed a number of games because of a hamstring injury, but he still managed to get in trouble for throwing a water bottle at a fan and flipping the bird to some hecklers. Menzel was also drafted by the San Diego Padres, so maybe he has a promising future as a baseball player. At any rate, hopefully he'll learn his lesson and tone down the bad boy routine, if only for his own good. A Bronx man was fatally shot in the face while holding his daughter. It's to say a Bronx resident was shot on Tuesday while carrying his daughter in his arms. A 21-year-old father was shot in the Bronx near Neighborhood Park at the intersection of Taylor Avenue and Guerlain Avenue on Tuesday. Alan McQueen was walking across the street from Taylor Playground with his young daughter at around 123 in the afternoon when a masked gunman appeared and shot McQueen several times. McQueen, who was shot in the face, tried to run away with his daughter in his arms but collapsed only a few feet away. The gunman was seen fleeing in a Mercedes Benz but only drove a few blocks before crashing the car and running away on foot. One nearby witness grabbed the baby and brought her to safety. McQueen reportedly has quite a rap sheet and the killing may have been gang related.